Hey everybody, my name is Houston Martin. I'm in the Order of the Tower organization here at Lee's McCray College. I'm an Order of the Tower trainee at the moment. Um, my, my involvement on campus is men's soccer and I'm a sophomore and my major is exercise science. I'm Genesis. I'm also part of Order of the Tower here. Um, we give tours. I am majoring in pre-vet. I am on the women's lacrosse team and I'm also part of the honors program. I'm Cameron. I'm a current junior at Lee's McCray, majoring in wildlife biology with a concentration in wildlife rehab. And I'm also in Order of the Tower and involved in so many campus activities. And I'm so excited to give you a tour today. All right, follow me. <laughs> Park, this snowy area at the moment. Um, we have some events out here. We have like coffee and donuts, first day of the semester, and there's Enu hammocks where you can come and hammock when it's warm and sunny outside, and just a place where students come and hang out sometimes. This is the founder of a college. He came up from Georgia to be a reverend at the church. Um, and then? And then he met two women who were very passionate about education and they established a all women's high school that then became a two year college and now the college that we know today. Shelton Learning Commons. It's more than just our library. It's also where we have resources downstairs. Um, we can go inside and show you a little bit more about it. Okay, so this is our main floor. So over here to our right, we have provisions on demand, which is where you can get gas station type food. So if you're studying and you're feeling hungry, you can come here and buy all different sorts of um, food. You use your Wiley's Bucks to get this food, and each student has $250 worth of Wiley's Bucks um, that you can use here and also at two other destinations. And then we'll walk over to our printing station. Each student has um, 50 pages that they can print off per semester of both color and black and white. No one has really heard of running out of printing, so you're pretty set for printing and copying here. We also have our garage classroom, which is nice with the big windows, and then some of our um, shelves with our books that you can check out, and then some of our study rooms as well. The study rooms are accessible to all students. Um, typically, it's first come, first serve. And then we'll go ahead upstairs. So upstairs, we also have a few study rooms, some bigger study rooms. So if you have a big group setting or a group <coughs> study session, you can use one of these big study hall rooms. And we also have a few classrooms upstairs. So if you ever have a 200 level library classroom, this is where you will be. We also have a cool space in the back if you want to follow me. Makerspace. It has a whole bunch of resources that you can use if you just
just want to try something new or if you ever get bored and want to do something we have a 3d printer we have lap looms and you can actually rent those out so you go to the library and rent those out and you can do that either at home or in your room something fun to do we also have a podcast station so if you want to feel fancy one day and have a podcast with you and your friends you can do that too it's just something you can use and when you want to try something different to the Burton Tutoring Center, which is downstairs of the library. So this is our Burton Tutoring Center, and we have a whole bunch of resources down here for you. So starting with Grace Champion and Beth Beggs, they are directors of STEP, which is a new program that Lisa McCray is implementing. And Grace Champion is our director of career services. She can help you from careers with anything during school or after school. She can help you with networking. She can help you with making resumes, making cover letters, and anything like that that can help you start getting your face or name out into the real world for career. And Beth Betts can also help you with accessibilities. If you break your arm, she will provide you a note taker. So you will never have an opportunity to miss class. <laughs> yep. So this is our tutoring center. Um, we typically have sign up sheets so that you can see what different tutors, um, like what different subjects they're tutoring at the specified time frames. Um, we also have the writing center. So if you have any issues with writing or you just want confirmation that what you're writing is good for your teacher, you can go to the writing center and they can help you out. I know students who have bumped their letter grades up a whole point um, by going to the writing center. Um, and then if you're a student athlete, you typically have study hall hours that are required. Um, it varies based off of what sports team you're a part of, but similar to what we were talking about upstairs in the library. Those big study hall rooms are typically used for sports teams, um, as well as you can use tutoring as study hall hours too. Right, and now we're gonna head over to the Bowman Science Museum. On the first floor is going to be more of your natural sciences. Um, the first main stop that everyone loves to talk about is the herpetarium. So we are a pet friendly campus and that also applies to reptiles. So if you are interested in bringing a reptile, you can join the herp club and put them in this room. In the Bowman Science Building, there's some professors, mostly science professors. They have office hours, so if you ever need to talk to them about something or a problem with the class, they are more than willing to help you out anytime they're available for you. floors so you don't have to worry about explosions. Um, this lab specifically is more focused towards the upper level science labs such as micro and, and you may also have a biology lab come in here and look underneath the microscopes and look at different cells that you could possibly be looking at that's in your own body or in an animal's body depending on what you're talking in that subject. Okay. okay, now that we saw the bottom floor of our Roman science building, we're going to go to the top floor where most of our behavioral sciences are. First 
question of this IT. If you have any problems with the computer, they are more than willing to help you. If you have a problem with internet, they'll give you an ethernet cable, plug in directly to your internet in your dorm residence hall, and it'll be perfectly fine. We are PC and Mac available, so it doesn't matter what type of computer you bring, and you can have one. And you can also rent out a computer if need be for any reason. So for education majors, this is our education curriculum lab. It's kind of built as an elementary style classroom, and it has a whole bunch of resources for you, resources for you guys to use, like curriculums, a whole bunch of blocks, um, things like that that you would use in a normal elementary style classroom to help with curriculum building or anything like that. this floor you'll have like criminal justice, psychology classes, anything like that. And one of the main attractions to our second floor Bowman Science building is our eSports room. So come on in, let's take a quick look around at your LMC eSports room. So this was just established what this past year in 2021 um many we play in a lot of different games like league of legends call of duty rocket league fifa you name it we got teams and all i'm currently on the call of duty team we competed last night against uh liberty university and uncw so there's a lot of competitive competition here and just it's fun as it is but. hey fam So a lot of our criminal justice um, and psychology classes are up here, as well as um, some of our professors' offices. All right, and that pretty much sums up Bowman. We're gonna go check out some residence halls now. called our historic commons. We have Tennessee, North Carolina, and Virginia, and we're gonna walk through and tell you all about it. So first is Tennessee. Tennessee is our upperclassmen female residence halls, traditional dorm style rooms. So this is North Carolina. Traditionally, it had um, different classrooms in it, but right now it's under renovation to become our new student center. A beautiful view of Beach Mountain and what you can see we actually have a classroom on, camp on Beach Mountain and it's held most of our ORM classes skiing and snowboarding which is I'm currently taking right now is so much fun and all of our outdoor rec classes can be up there and it's such a beautiful view also a kind of catch-all classroom area but it's one of the our favorites because of the big windows and you can see beach over to the left and then sugar up on the right so it's a nice classroom but it's hard to pay attention in it <laughs> On our trip down the historic commons is Virginia Hall. Virginia is similar to Tennessee as it is an upperclassman male residence hall, same traditional style as Tennessee, and it's also becoming under renovation, so we'll have a brand new building for that as well. Bell 
bell tower, but it served a lot of different purposes in its lifetime. It was a water tower for the town of Bitter Oak. It was a candy shop. It was a hair salon. And it also was a watchtower for World War II at one point. So it serves a lot of different purposes, but now it is just our bell tower and it goes off every half hour on, from eight to eight throughout campus. headed down to back campus where it's um, much of alternate uh, residence halls if you don't want to live in dorm style all four years that you're here and also some more resources to you. Yep. Okay so on the left is our Presbyterian church that Reverend Edgar Tuft founded back in the 1900s. We are loosely affiliated but they are always friendly faces to see on campus. So right here to my left is an example of what the, another housing situation would be like on campus. Right now, this is a cycling office, but it's, it can, it was once, once a house about two years ago. So the housing situation, a house comes with three to four rooms, a full kitchen and two bathrooms. And so you could have a roommate and housemates that you just get along with and another housing opportunity for you versus living in a residence hall. have some more dorm living but these are our pet friendly residence halls we have Baldwin McMillan and Bentley they are co-ed and it's separated by floors so this is another alternate housing style besides the residence hall these are our villages aka the villas they are suite style so you have four individual rooms and then a shared bathroom and living room also as well as with the kitchen and it's just a another way that you can live and those are individual rooms so you get your own room so this is our canon honors cottage if you have the opportunity to be an honors student you have the opportunity to live here after your first year of being on campus it's kind of um, just for honor students and it's also pet friendly as well and you get the opportunity to have air conditioning to be in a perk of an honor student. <laughs> also an alternate housing option as well they have a one bedroom apartment so you will have the option to have a roommate and it comes with a full kitchen full living room and bathroom as well that you would have to share with a roommate or if you opt out that and you do have to be a junior or a senior to be able to live in these Student Recreation Complex, which we call the SRC. So this was newly renovated this year, so it's fresh new. It's actually being used in action right now. You can have different exercise equipment that you can have during your free time if you just want to work out or if you're an off-season, an, an, if you're an off-season athlete right now, you can come in and work. You have these, you have weight exercises, and you also have the floor. <laughs> right now it's being used as an indoor classes. It's really cold outside or have adverse weather, but you have basketball. And we also have the 45 degree walk, rock climbing wall, as well as a regular rock climbing wall for our rock climbing team. It's a club and club sport if you're interested in that as well. So my favorite thing about Lee's McCray is the location. It is beautiful here. We are really in an outdoor setting. You get to see different kinds of wildlife wherever you go. Bears, groundhogs, foxes, <laughs> really anything. Uh, my favorite thing is the May Wildlife Rehab Center. I'm a wildlife major and working at the rehab center and being hands on it really showed me my passion and what I really want to do. Oh, my favorite thing is 
Probably just the view. I mean, you wake up every morning, you get to look at that every day, especially like when you have a 6 a.m. in the morning, you see the sun come across the mountain. Don't get no better than that, man. And you don't get used to it. <laughs> okay, so behind me is the Theater Arts Building. It's usually open all throughout the day, even at nighttime. So it's a place where theater arts majors or any anybody can come and hang out and do work. We, there is a dance studio downstairs and they offer dance lessons, piano lessons, they offer vocal lessons, free of all majors. If you just want to try something new, they're always there and will always be happy to help you. And beside the theater arts building is the outdoor program. Okay, so this is our outdoor programs. This is our fun aspect of Lisa McCray that you can rent outdoor equipment, such as kayaks, backpacks, camping gear, pretty much you name it, you can have access to it. Um, the only thing that you can't do for free is rent propane tanks because you can't return that, but everything else is free. Okay, so this is Tate. This is our freshman men's living space. So this is what a typical residence hall room would look like. Every room is pretty standard. You have two beds, two desks, two dressers. You would kind of have to play Tetris a little bit with you and your roommate, however you decide to come and do the space. But How can you decorate it? You can make it however homey as you like. As you see, there's flags up, tapestries. You can have pretty much anything except for an open flame in a residence hall. Got it. So they are hall style bathrooms. Um, they are cleaned pretty much once a day. So they are kept pretty clean. Um, you have typically about three showers, three stalls, and same for sinks as well. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about laundry. So laundry is included in your tuition. Um, there's a series of washers and dryers and you just go and wash your own clothes. You're responsible for taking them out in a timely manner. So what is there to do like fun inside of a residence hall? So there's communal rooms for each residence hall. Um, in Tate on this floor. As you can see, we have an air hockey table. We have a pool table, and then there's also a TV with couches and other chairs that you can chill out with your friends in here. Is there like certain events that we can do as like a president's hall? Yeah, uh, sometimes uh, we have what's called resident assistants on every floor on each residence hall, and they put on events. Sometimes it can be like how to cook in a dorm room, how to finance, and other events like that can just be fun for you and your residents to enjoy. Yeah. Okay, so I've loved giving you guys a tour, but right now I have to go ahead to practice, but I'll hopefully see you guys later. Okay, so we're gonna continue. Our dining hall is newly renovated. It got finished in about late October, early September. So I'm really excited to show you guys the new feel of the cafeteria. This is our dining hall on campus. It's supposed to be a, sort of a mountain lodge feel. How many times a day can you come in here and get food? So with every first year student with their meal plan, they can come in at unlimited time as they want. They get unlimited meal swipes to come in and swipe your card. And you always have a salad bar open. So even if you miss hot food hours, which we'll talk about in a minute, you can still get a sandwich or a salad or something. Hot food hours um, during the weekday are 7 to 10 for breakfast, 11 to 4 for lunch, and 5 to 7 for dinner. Now we're entering our student development center. This is kind of the student hub for everything. So here at the store we have our health services and our counseling services. So we have Nurse Carl, which is our full-time nurse, on campus, he can help you from anything as an over-the-counter headache. He can, if you have a headache, he can give you any over-the-counter medicine that you may need. 
for it, even if you have something like a runny nose or anything big not major he can help you he can also refer you to outpatient doctors if you need that kind of help and i'm running a special on morphine today <laughs> Love it. i'm sorry hey carl <laughs> also in that is our counseling services so we have marla which is our full-time counselor on campus and we also have two app state grad students helping this semester with that too so if you ever need anything just anybody to talk to they're always there so these are our main student development um, offices. So we have our director of campus life. We have a housing director, and we also have our chief diversity director as well in this building. If you ever want to get involved in campus or just have any questions, campus related, academically related even, they are always willing to help you or find a place where you need to go to get help. We're gonna continue in the student center. Comes up on our campus post office. If you decide to come here and you are a student here, you will get a post office box and it comes with a regular lock accommodation and you will use that for all four years that you are here. You can get small mail or even big packages from Amazon or any place like that. So we have two auditoriums on campus. This is the smaller one of the two. This is called Evans Auditorium. Evans Auditorium is for anything and everything. It can be used as a welcome at one point. We had a Super Bowl watch party in here last year. It can be used for bingo night, trivia night, anything that you can think of, it has been used for. This hallway that we are on is called King Chevelle. Its main purpose is as an art gallery, as you can see, the arts on the wall being displayed by faculty and students. But it's also used as a place where students can just come and hang out if they want to find a place to study, anything like that, they can be used for. And this building is open until 10 p.m. So if you want to do something late at night or just study late at night that's not in your room, the space is available for you. bagels which is a place where you could use your Wiley Bucks and it has all your merchandise all your souvenirs here that you can get. What about books and stuff how is that gonna work here? So books are also included in your tuition you pay a fee every semester and you go online and order your books and you just come and pick them up. Okay so this is where I leave you I actually have to go to my skiing and snowboarding class but it was fun giving you guys a tour and I would hope to see you guys very soon. This is the end of our, tour, our virtual tour, and like I said, my name is Houston Martin. I'm on the men's soccer team here in OT Ambassador in Training, and I'm an exercise, exercise science major with a minor in coaching, and I'm also on the LMC eSports team here. And if you have any questions for our admission staff, use the chat boxes about the school or the tour, and I hope to see you guys here soon for an in-person tour, and I'll see you guys later.